what is dieback and how do you get a panel straight? I'll show you a couple of quick tips that we've adopted in this little tiny shop for restoration. <laughs> Okay, bear with a noisy fan in the shop. I have two Plymouth Fenders, 73 to 76 fashion. Um, what I want to show you on this is a way to tell how flat you are with when you're blocking and doing body work. And I'll show you an area that died back again on me. And sometimes this happens to everyone. You have to hit an area several times to get it. And it's funny as a is these are a body Mopar fenders the subtle body lines are always the killer on these <laughs> they'll get you all the time let me show you what we do okay product we use TCI products it's a it's a great product final wipe okay and this is what we use to actually check a panel to see how level it is We also carry other products in the shop here. Chromax Surface Clean. It's a great product. It does identical to what this does. Also, Nason 4175 is another same product. They're pretty much all the same products. Most expensive, middle of the road, a little cheaper. All excellent products. They're all going to do the same job. Basically, you wipe the panel down with this with an E4143 Sonterra wipe make sure you have gloves on and then the air that you're blowing down the panel with after you're done and wiping it is filtered if it is not microparticles in the air compressor get in there and that's what you get fish eyes 100 percent of the time do not ever use a rag always use a clean cleanup towel such as these okay What I found is a typical USC handy spray, pump up sprayer. It's much easier than taking this, dabbling it on a rag, and then wiping the panel down. What it does is it gets back in here, any microparticles off of what you're wiping gets back in there and contaminates the, the foot. On here it doesn't, so what we do, there's your pump up. You can see we also call it final wipe here. And you have an adjustment nozzle, you can make it a spray or you can make it a narrow. And then and you pump it up and you're ready to rock. Let's check out what we can do. Okay, we're here with the two fenders. I'm gonna show you what this stuff does. After we're done blocking everything down, it looks really good. We're ready for final to paint. I want to see how flat it is. So what this does, this simulates clear coat. It does help to have not have a fan running, but it puts a shine on the panel. And I can see how flat the panel is. And what's nice about this, it'll show me everything. And see how it evaporates so quick? We got a lot of airflow through the shop. So don't worry about me and a respirator. We have a very good airflow through here. But I wanted to show you what that does. Okay, that'll evaporate or I can blow it down with filtered compressed air. This, this is pretty, right? Until you get to right about there. Now watch the light. See the light stagger? The light staggers right there. That's dieback. That's how the light staggers. Let me see if I can get it better here. It staggers. So if it staggers in this stuff, it's going to show up in your paint job.
There it is. Okay. This fender here took a lot of work in here. It was tagged right up in the corner here. Let's see how good I, or good, not good I did. I think that's quite acceptable for a sealer coat. And for paint. Filtered air on the wall, not out of the compressor. Do not blow down the final panel without a filtration system on it. We've uh, learned that the hard way over the years when we had little microparticles and we couldn't figure out what was going on our paint job. Now we have nothing but a nice, pretty paint job. Everyone, thanks for joining me today on this little tidbit of information that we've learned at the shop here. Hopefully it'll help you. Um, cleanliness is the next thing to godliness when you're doing body work. Anytime these digits get on a panel, you grab a panel, move a panel, it transfers right into the work. And the last thing you ever want is fish eyes. And unfortunately, humans are really not the cleanest species on the face of the earth. And everything you need to do, just make sure everything is clean. Uh, from your airline to what you're using to wipe down with to the solvent in the container that you're spraying on the on the panel everything gets you to your final and the last thing you want to do is recycle a panel because there's fish eyes or there's dirt in or trash in it or something's just not right paint today is not cheap it ain't like the old days 30 years ago i can buy a gallon of dupont centauri with the performance pack for a hundred bucks per gallon that same gallon today, not including activator base code, um, base maker, excuse me, is now close to $1,000 per gallon. Now granted, on base code, one gallon will make you two when you reduce, but that's a lot of money and it's a lot of times gunning the stuff down and you don't want a mistake. And believe me, nobody in this business is exempt from anything from a redo and we all do it. And, uh, from time and again when we have issues especially when dieback comes to bite me in the in the ass it does happen and we have to reshoot the panel so no one's exempt to it we just take our time let the product do its job let the humidity take its toll we go back we rehit the panels again we final them out and they turn out good and then it's good for a long time especially with the products we use remember you get what you pay for and then patience will cost you a lot of money in this business so you can't rush body work everyone thank you so much for your time until then we'll see you on the next vlog take care